Now we'll be testing out the short draw speeds of the RX-7 Ultra. It is currently at 72 pounds and 27 inch draw with the same 461 grain arrow. Two twenty-four for a shot. Let's try one more. Two twenty-second shot. For all the short draw guys out there, these are the kind of speeds you can expect. This is the Hoyt Ventum Pro Thirty-Three, and we were gonna try it out at a uh, twenty-six-inch draw length for all the shorter draw guys out there. Let's see how it shoots. It's at. Uh, 72 pounds, 26 inch draw with a 461 grain arrow. 250, let's try one more shot. 245. Overall, that's not bad speeds at 26 inch draw length. So if you're looking for a pretty good bow, a little quicker, um, I'd really recommend this bow to the shorter draw guys. Um, very forgiving setup on a 33 inch platform. Now we're gonna try the Ventum Pro 30 at 25 inch draw length. This bow goes a lot shorter than the Ventum Pro 33. So let's try it out so you can uh, kind of get some ideas on what the speeds will be like. It's at 71 pounds, 25 inch draw with a 461 grain arrow. 221. 25 inches is very short. Was not really expecting that. 219. So not bad with the Venom Pro 30 for all my short draw people. Kind of get an idea now. All right, now we're gonna try the Twin Turbo at 25 inch draw and it's still at 73 pounds. This is uh, the same arrow we've been shooting, 461 grains. So let's see what kind of speeds we get at 25 inches. 227 and 228. Overall, I think it's an amazing shooting bow. The draw cycle is awesome. The back wall is super solid. I really like this bow. Has a little more hand shock than the other bows, RX-7, the Ventum 30 and 33. I highly recommend you coming in to bow shops and trying them out. Come over to Corbin's and we can set you up at your uh, specs and draw weight and stuff so you can really get a good feel for them. So come on in and try them out.